Shorts. Uh, I am. I am Gold Shorts. I am Gold Shorts. And I am Gold Shorts. 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 I am Actually, I, I'm not. I don't use the, I am. I, I use I'm. I am. I am Golf Shores. I am Golf Shores. I am Golf Shores. I'm Golf Shores. I am 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 Golf Shores. to popular opinion, um, Gulf Shores is not named Gulf Shores because it is located at the Gulf of Mexico. It's actually uh, named Gulf Shores because the ancient Serpicoi Indians gave it that name. Um, who, but who are the Serpicoi Indians, you may ask? Um, the Serpicoi Indians were a peaceful, fun-loving um, people who lived in the Gulf Shores area many years ago, and they had a great love for golf. And uh, contrary to popular belief, actually, uh, golf was invented in Gulf Shores, actually, not Scotland. Um, so, led by their chief, um, Big Chief Papa Rocco, uh, the Serpicoi Indians went on to make many elaborate uh, golf courses in, this, in the area of Gulf Shores. And um, on one of these golf courses, they created a sign which read, Welcome to Gulf Shores. Um, but unfortunately, soon thereafter, um, Hurricane Jake and Naya destroyed the entire Serpicoi civilization. Um, and as the Hurricane Jake and Naya rage, uh, the extreme gust of wind, um, loud like the sound of a shouting Christensen um, in the last quarter of a 5K, uh, rip the paint clear off the sign so that on the O in Gulf Shores, the top part of the O uh, was stripped, so it appeared like a U. And so then, uh, after that, it read Gulf Shores rather than Gulf Shores. Um, so many years later, when the early settlers came along, they discovered this sign that said, Gulf Shores, although in fact it was meant to read Gulf Shores. And so these early settlers who, who were fishermen uh, just decided to name the area that they were occupying Gulf Shores, and that is why it is the way it is today. Um, yeah, Calvin College has been coming down here with the track team for, oh, I'm not exactly sure how many years, but I, I believe it's over 30 now. And um, it, it started uh, with uh, Ralph Honnert, who was a longtime track and field coach at Kelvin, um, also the athletic director. And um, he used to bring the track team down um, to Gulf Shores, Alabama. And when they first came down here, there was basically nothing here except Souvenir City, which the uh, shark has survived hurricanes and everything else and is still alive today and is still beating out Surf City. Um, and uh, um, Coach said that the boardwalk, uh, which is next door to where we're at now, which we stayed in for you know, most of those years, was brand new at the time. And um, I'm not exactly sure, I can't remember exactly why they chose this spot, but I know that um, Coach Honor told me that when they first walked in these condominiums, they were brand new, kind of like these are today, and we're all like, oh no. And, you know, and he freaked out because it was so beautiful and so nice, and they were kind of worried about it. But anyway, yeah, from that point on, Calvin kept coming down here and had a great time, and the kids went home and told their parents about the great uh, white sand beaches and, and uh, the great climate and how much fun they had down here. So the parents started following the kids down here, and they started to go to the Baptist church, and the Baptist church started growing, and... You know, new condominiums started coming up and places to eat and obviously souvenir shops and the next thing you know, Gulf uh, Shores is a thriving metropolis and basically Coach Honnard has taken much of the credit for that. So, yeah, so we'll see if we can uh, keep it up and 
keep the traditions going and maybe a lot of your kids will uh, end up uh, on the track team and doing this the same thing. Oh, we have friends that come here. Uh, my son and my daughter-in-law. They enjoyed it and my wife just riding around so we decided we'd come through here today. Awesome. I always have memories of going to the beach with my friends and meeting new people. The beach is like one of the best places that we have around here. And the water park, we have water Yeah, awesome. Thank you very much. Good. Thanks. Okay. Bye. The girls. <laughs> Drinking and being with friends and um, the beach. swimming, but it's too hot to swim. Okay. Definitely chocolate. One club cooter. Females in the summertime. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Because they come from all over. Amazing. Awesome. Party. Small little redneck town on the beach, I guess. Beautiful white beaches. I don't know, man. Y'all done screwed. Y'all y'all opened up with the wrong question. I done I mean, what's the next one? Just give me the next one. Okay. I am Gulf Shores. I am Gulf Shores. I am Gulf Shores. <laughs> I am Gulf Shores. Hey. I am Gulf Shores. I am Gulf Shores. I am Gulf Shores. Well, first I seen the girls. Damn. And then I seen the dudes, I was like, mmm. -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, do I want to roll down my window? And I was like, go, hot that. But I didn't. If, like, if it was all the way down, y'all would have heard me real, real loud. Come on. Well, thanks.